Okay guys, uh, today's workout looks really long, but once I explain it, you might um, see it a little bit differently. You do have A through F sections to do. Um, each of the sections, A, B, C, D through F, um, build on each other in terms of the first movement. So if you notice, the first movement in A is a deadlift. The second movement is a deadlift high pull. The third is a deadlift squat clean, then deadlift squat clean to thruster, deadlift squat clean thruster to lunges, and then you add a push press on the last one for F. So there's always this base that you're building off of for the first movement. So each of A through F is a couplet, but the second part of the couplet changes with each of the three rounds. So A1 or A with round one is 10 deadlifts, 10 bias push-ups. Round two is 10 deadlifts, 10 V-ups. Round three is 10 deadlifts, 10 60 second, sorry, not 10, one 60 second plank. Then you move on to B and you start one of three rounds and you do deadlift high pull with bias push-ups, deadlift high pull with V-ups, deadlift high pull with 60 second plank. Then C is deadlift squat clean, with 10 bias push-ups, deadlift squat clean with 10 V-ups, deadlift squat clean with 60 second plank, and so on. So rounds one, two, and three for the second movement are always bias push-ups for round one, V-ups for round two, and plank for round three. And the piece that changes is the top piece becomes more complex as you progress. All right, so round one starts with you doing 10 deadlifts. Make sure that the dumbbells are in line with your feet and not in front of your feet, palms facing in towards your legs. Then the second part of round one is 10 bias push-ups. So your hands are staggered, one that's uh, way out in front of the shoulder, one below, below the shoulder, slightly externally rotated with one of the hands. So you'll do five with the right arm in front and five with the left arm in front. As soon as you're done with these push-ups, you are back to deadlifts for 10 reps. Showing you this side angle to see that the spine stays really neutral and it's mostly a hip hinge. And then you have 10 V-ups. This is the round two second piece of the movement. As soon as you finish these 10 V-ups, then you're back for your last round of 10 deadlifts. After the 10 deadlifts, you have a 60 second plank. Make sure your chest is between your hands and your shoulder blades are not sticking out. Now, this is the second movement. So this is the B section, B1. Deadlift, high pull. Notice the hips open first, then the arms follow. Elbows are high above the ears. Then you would be doing, after that deadlift, high pull, you would be doing round one with the bias push-ups, round two, with the V-ups, round three with the plank. And then you'd be doing this, which is deadlift squat clean, along with those three movements for those three rounds. And then this is the deadlift squat clean thruster. And you would do three rounds of 10 of these along with the other three movements. Round one is the bias push-up. Round two is the V-up. Round three is the plank. And then after those rounds are done, you're moving to the next section, which is deadlift, squat clean, thruster, arms come down, lunge on both sides. That's one rep of 10. By now, it's gonna feel really hard. Deadlift, squat clean, thruster, lunging. And then you'd be doing those this for 10 reps, along with round one with the bias push-ups, round two with the V-ups, round three with the plank. And then this is the last thing. Deadlift, squat clean, thruster, lunges into a push press. 10 of these, along with round one with bias push-up, round two with V-ups, round three with plank. If this workout feels like it's too long, you could also just discount it. Once you get down to these much more complex sets, you could do five reps of each. You could do six, you could do seven, something like that. I recognize that every one of these sections from A down